-hmm. You know how good it feels to have my nails back? I was on a hiatus without nails and I didn't film because I was not going to sell. Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. I'm a little nasally because I actually got a couple hours of sleep and I wanted to do this Christmassy type look, holiday type look if you don't celebrate Christmas but you like the holidays. Normally I would do a one shadow tutorial but today I'm just gonna wing it but I'm gonna do something very Christmassy theme and I wanted to do like a silvery eyeliner and see how that looked. If it didn't look good then I'll cover up with black but you know what I mean. Um, so first things first, I'm gonna take off my glasses and I'm going to be putting on my contacts because I can't see yet. I'm actually gonna be wearing these contacts right here. These are by Iris Beauty and these are in the shade um, Amber Brown. And if you, I actually have a code with them. They sent me these um, so I can like review and see if I like them and stuff like that. I'm not, they're not sponsoring this or anything like that. I don't get anything if you use my code, you get 15% off. Um, if you use it and it's IVY45, which I'll have it here linked and then I'll link it down below. I've been getting so many compliments on these contact lenses and they're absolutely gorgeous, but I feel like it took some getting used to because they're a little bit more vibrant than I'm used to. So I have them right here. They come with the case and you get a pair of lenses. You can get prescribed or non-prescribed. Um, I need prescribed because I'm blind. Um, I might try to see if I can reach out to the company and see if they've been willing, if they'd be willing to send me a few more shades so that I can do like a swatch like video for you guys. So if you guys don't like eye shit, then skip, <laughs> skip 10 seconds. I have really, 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 really sensitive eyes. So it takes some getting used to when I put on my contacts. That's usually why you guys already see me with my contacts on. So yeah. I'm gonna start off by moisturizing and I'm gonna be using my e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizer. Um, I need Jesus right now. My skin needs Jesus. My eyes look bloodshot. I feel like sleep is like my enemy sometimes. Oh, yeah, got, got it in my mouth. <laughs> so I'm going to spritz my face after I moisturize. I like to spritz my face. Usually it's after I moisturize and after I apply my primer. But today I'm going to do it. I do it all sorts of ways. But it's, well, you know. All right. Okay. Let's get cereal. Okay. So I'm going to be using my Milani Prime and... Prime Perfection um, Face Primer. This is a hydrating and pore minimizing primer. This is a really good dupe for the um, Makeup Forever blue one, the step one. It's the hydrating one, the blue one. I actually really like this. And I compared it. Yeah, I compared them for a while um, until I ran out of my little one because I am not paying full price. For the Makeup Forever one. Even though I have Pro Discount, I just don't shop at Makeup Forever like that. I feel nasally today. What the fuck? I would love, I was thinking of possibly starting up some merch, but it is so hard to figure out. Like, I don't know. I'll, I'll get to looking into it because I just wanted like a few shirts. Um, I don't know who would buy them, but one of them was definitely going to say what the fuck. Um, because sometimes you just, what the fuck, you know, you want to just be fancy with it. So yeah, there's that. So we are, whatever. Um, so I'm going to go in with my Fenty Booty. I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty foundation. And this, I am in the shade 190. This is the Pro Filter foundation. I'm going to go in. She hasn't been used in a bit. So I'm taking out three pumps. Not using three pumps. But... Um, I did shake her up last night because it's been a minute since I've used this foundation. Um, this foundation is really good for someone that has um, oilier skin. Um, I have dry skin. So as you can see, I put moisturizer, spritz my face with glycerin, my glycerin spray, my setting spray, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. I'm going to go in with my Royal and Land Nickel Complexion Brush. This is the only clean brush I have. That is so sad. And with this foundation, I find that I like applying it better with a brush and sponge. Most, of, actually all of my foundations, I like applying with 
my makeup brush first because I can get most of the coverage. Um, I find that when I use just a sponge, because I tested it out a few times, I didn't like the... I didn't like it. And I'm not going for a full, full, full coverage because I end up looking that way once I apply my concealer because it's really the bags we got to focus on. <laughs> oh my God, who saw the money video by Cardi B? Bitch. I'm trying to hone in on my inner Priscilla Ono because I get told all the time I resemble her, resemble her. When I wear um my wig that I'm going to be wearing today, which is my Lena Sleek wig, which is probably the wig I've been wearing a lot. So I'm just going to take this AOA Studio sponge. It was a dollar. <laughs> I did notice I don't have earrings on, so. So for concealer, I'm actually going to use my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. It This is like a love-hate concealer. Like really is, really and truly is love-hate concealer. I'm not going to let this sit too long under my eyes. I'm gonna go in and press it in. I find that sometimes this concealer is best with a brush, so if you're having issues with this foundation and you apply it with a sponge, try a brush and then and then blend it with a sponge. Um, the drier the sponge, the better. I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm just gonna set under the eye lightly. And I like to do these areas that I normally highlight anyway because I get I get a lot more movement there with my makeup. So boop, 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 boop. Now honestly, I don't need to set anything else on my skin, but what I'm gonna do is take any remnants I have on my brush and just kind of press this in. This is my usual powder brush. And I'm just doing this because I like to be able to uh, bronze without it sticking and looking and honestly this foundation on drier skin sets I don't know how it is on oily skin, but um, you don't really have to set it too much on oily skin either Now would be a good time to do my brows Because I know some of you guys are like what the fuck can you do your brows? I know some people like to do brows Brows before foundation mm, No, thanks sway. No, thanks. I don't like doing that. So using my ABH um, Dip Brow in Granite, one of my favorite products. I want to see if I can get the pencil, but... Okay, so we're just going to do my brows real quick, and then I'll come back. All right, that's harsh. That's a harsh line, girl. First, let me bronze up my skin. I'm going to be using... Yeah, I'm going to be using my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. This is one of my favorite palettes of the year, to be honest. Um, and I'm going to use my Kat Von D Powder Brush, or whatever this is. And I'm going to dip into all three... And I just want to bronze up my skin. <laughs> I'm going to start off with my Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to start off with what? We're going to go big. We're going to start off with Realgar. Real, Realgar. I'm going to use my Sigma E35 brush, one of my favorite brushes. We just, we use concealer for the eyes. You could prime your lids however you want. I'm just taking Realgar, which is like a burnt orange. Y'all will see the methods of my madness in a second. Oh my God, I was listening to Christmas music just random Christmas music on my Google Music. It's just like, just playing random music, like Christmas radio. And when I had finished my green eye look, um, the Grinch came on. <laughs> the Grinch song came on and I was like, perfect. I am the Grinch. I am the Latina girl version of the Grinch. I'm gonna use my what the fuck is this? This is a, Re a Royal Land Nickel Revolution BX66 brush. I'm gonna go in with a mix of Love Letter and Venetian Red. One has more fuchsia base, the other one has more wine base. And I'm gonna take it right here on the crease. 
the same way, but just leave a little bit of the orange peeking out. And I'm just placing it right now, and then I'm gonna go back with the same brush that I used the orange -y type shade with, the burnt orange shade with, and then we're gonna blend. This eye look is really simple, guys. I'm gonna take the brush, again, no additional product, and just blend. Blend, 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 blend. Y'all know I'm gonna add an inner corner highlight, so. I'm gonna use a little bit of tempera just to kind of clean up this inner corner. Smith 202 brush. Pop this on the lower lash line. So now I'm gonna take my Juvia's Place, the Nubian 2 palette, and I'm going in with this gorgeous beauty, Egypt, right here. And I'm gonna take it on my 202 brush, 220 brush. Um, and I'm just gonna swirl it in. And then I'm gonna place the product on my lower lash line. All right, now I'm gonna go back in with Egypt and I'm gonna wet the brush. Are you shocked? No, okay. And oh god, so beautiful. I'm gonna go in with Nefertiti, and I'm using my Wayne Goss 05 brush. Now I'm using Nefertiti because it's more of an orangey shade. It's just keeping it. It kind of looks like Christmas lights right now. Um, so I want to kind of keep it in that family. And it's okay because we're putting an eyeliner on today. Shocker, I know. So I'm gonna take my Vive Cosmetics Highlighting Duo and I'm gonna use Reina. I'm not gonna clean off the brush. I'm just gonna pop in a little bit of Reina so it makes it more vibrant yellowish color than it would that. It's so pretty. So it just amplifies that one color we applied. I'm gonna take my Wet n Wild Cream Blush and this one's in the shade Hustle and Glow 802A, and I'm gonna take my sponge and just go in with it. And I like to randomly put my blush whenever I feel like putting blush. I'm gonna be using my Danessa Myricks Color Fix in Titanium. I wanted to add a little bit more to it. Um, this one's dried out on me where the pump doesn't work, um, but now Danessa has them in tubes, so they last a lot longer. Um, it works just fine. I just gotta scoop some out. It's just the pump stopped working on me. And I'm going to be using my finest eyeliner brush, and this one is the Royal and Land Nicole 40. 20 over zero brush. So I'm just gonna scoop some out with the little pointed end here. My Durlene lot drops, which I recommend, hands down, recommend. We're gonna, I think the like glittery, silvery accent would be different for me. Cause I barely do like, if it's not black eyeliner, I really don't wanna do it. Pop in a different brush just to kind of help you fill it in. Now I'm going to use the finer brush. And because I have it mixed in the back of my hand, like this looks like actual metal. It really does. It's crazy how much it looks like metal, especially just sitting on my hand like this. It's different. This color's magnificent. You see that? Look at that. This is like, it looks like I have pure metals just sitting on my skin. I'm gonna move on to mascara. I'm gonna be using a mix of my CoverGirl Peacock Flare and my Lash Paradise. I'm gonna do my lashes and I'm actually going to fill in the waterline, of course, with a black pencil. This one's my Pop Beauty um, Kajal Pencil in City Black. So we're gonna do that and then I'll be back. So I'm gonna highlight using my Viva Cosmetics highlighting palette. I'm going to be using Reina. And I'm gonna go in with my AOA Studio brush, cheapest brush and best brush I own for my highlight. I'm just gonna pop that in right there. How you doing? This is such a beautiful highlight. This does remind me of Amrezi. So I'm gonna go in with the Juvia's Place palette and go in with Zuri. 
and pop that in over it. It's just so pretty. Now I'm going to spritz my face. Okay. <laughs> Let's zoom out a little bit. I'm going to use my CoverGirl lip liner in cherry red. Just to line my lips. I don't know why. You want to tell me how I look? I can see. You can see it? You can see right there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Do you see the silver? Yeah. Too much? Yeah, whatever you want. That's the right answer, sir. For lips, I'm going to be using this gorgeous red shade in Roar, and this is by New Color. This is the Power Lips Fluid. I had one, a wonderful subscriber of mine um, and Snapchat fan, what's up babe, send me this lipstick. She sent me another one, um, ex I forgot what it was called, but it's a deeper brick red, but this one right here is just classic red. Um, I'll leave their info, I'll try to remember to leave the info link down below uh, where you can get this. Okay, my love, so this is the completed look. I have to change my shirt because I have to get going for work. But yeah, this is pretty much it. Um, the wig that I'm wearing is Bobby Boss Lena Sleek, which I'll leave linked down below. You can also check out all of my wig playlists because I have a shit ton. Um, so yeah, she's very festive today. I'm wearing green with a black bottom and I'm wearing like uh, some wheat boots. So it's kind of like within the warm Christmassy type theme. So anyway, loves, I hope you guys like this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me for work. Um, it is now 545 and I'm gonna get going because today is Christmas Eve and it is Walmart is opening at six and I wanna get there to do some last minute shopping because I wanna make cookies tonight. I hope you guys have a marvelous, happy, healthy, and safe Christmas. Enjoy your holidays. If you do not celebrate Christmas, I hope you have a great day with your families. Um, enjoy some wine, chill, relax. Even if you don't celebrate, I hope you have a great Christmas day. Enjoy your holidays. Happy Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, holidays. Happy New Year. Okay, to me, it's already the New Year. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys love this video. Thumbs up, subscribe, share with your friends, tell them how you doing. Um, I love you guys. Have a great, great holiday. Bye.